One has awesome. to understand in science, regardless of what science it is, there's always the flavor of the month. And the flavor of the month rules the waves related to dogma, and it rules the waves regarding to funding, because you have uh, the uh, funding agencies, and you also have the review panels that are, shall we say, into the current dogma. So it's very difficult to persuade somebody that understands the value of molecular, whatever it might be, to understand a holistic basis of, of that particular um, specialty. I don't care if it's an animal or a bacteria or a virus or a plant. The Right now, molecular is where it's all at. They want to understand how an organism ticks in the finite ways. And as I said before, one can forget the cover to see the inside of anything. And so now, but the marvelous part about these techniques is that what they're really trying to do is understand not only how it ticks at the molecular level, but also at the genetic level. And the basis for the future is understanding the genetics of any organism. This means that it's very difficult for a young uh, researchers to understand the value of being able to identify the source of what they're studying. And um, there will always be the uh, chairman of departments and there will always be deans of faculty that realize that they have to uh, make money on their scientists these days. It's not like it used to be 50, 60 years ago where you were hired to teach and also do research, and that was fine, and they'd pay for it, and you, you didn't have to worry about generating funds. Nowadays, unfortunately, it's big business in any university. Everybody has to earn their way or they're turfed, and that's an unfortunate way, and so the flavor of the month is now molecular, but it's really the basics is genetics, and genetics will rule the future at, regardless of where you're at. It's a pity that because of that, a lot of other specialties are being sidelined, but for those to research is when they've almost lost the whole group of specialists in an area to realize how very valuable they had been in the past.